Hey everyone and welcome back to another day in the life, this time with the Apple Watch Series 7. I currently have the Meridian watch face on. I've been waking up at 8am lately and sleeping at around 1am. I also put my phone in my washroom because it helps me sleep faster and get out of bed in the morning. I recently got this Oral-B toothbrush and I absolutely love it. You know that commercial where it says it feels like you're getting a dental cleaning? That's how I would describe it too. Trust me, this is not sponsored, I just really like this toothbrush. Next, I wash my face and moisturize it. Most days, I work out right when I get up. I like getting it done and out of the way. Today, I'm working on abs and cardio. I've been trying this hand washing feature where it can detect when you're washing your hands and a 20 second timer starts. The Apple Watch has a water resistance rating of 50 so you can shower with it, go swimming, going in the lake or ocean, but it's water resistant, not waterproof. I'm currently descaling my Nespresso machine. You're supposed to do this every four to six months. For now, I'm drinking the Starbucks medium cold brew. I make it with oat milk and hazelnut almond milk creamer. Every morning, I drink my coffee while I journal and plan the day with lo-fi music in the background. It's a great way to let out any frustrations or reflect on anything positive or funny that happened. Here, I'm going over my week and I'm really happy with how much I accomplished. It's so nice to be able to put my phone away so I can concentrate on journaling and if I need anything like change the volume, song, or check the time, I can do so on my Apple Watch without going on my phone and losing focus. I'm all ready for the day. I got my face on and I also want to do a Apple Watch battery update. It's been about four hours since I've been wearing my Apple Watch and the battery is at, oh shoot, the battery is at about 85%. My cousin made us Boon Ryu, which is a Vietnamese crab, pork, and tomato noodle soup. It's really tasty and flavorful, so that's just what I'm eating for lunch. While I was eating, I got a reminder to add in my water intake. It's an app I've been trying out for a little while. I'll talk more about it later on in this video.
The best part about my Apple Watch is that it helps me stay productive while I get work done. When I'm in editing mode, I place my phone across the room, put my devices on sleep mode. That way I'm not distracted by notifications and not tempted to go on my phone and mindlessly scroll on social media. From time to time, I will check if I have any notifications and just get straight back to work. Having an Apple Watch has definitely boosted my productivity. I'm about to go to the mall, but I wanted to show you my outfit. And honestly, I barely show outfits because I always wear the same thing like jeans and t-shirt or shorts and tank tops. But today I put a dress on and I got this from Oaken Fort about last summer. I absolutely love it. It's just so flowy. I'm also gonna go to sushi with my friends for a birthday. So it's perfect for all you can eat because it doesn't restrain me. My shoes I also got from, I think, Old Navy, I needed some, they were on sale for about $20, which was a steal. This was also on sale too for like $60 or $70, which was great. But yeah, I'm gonna go to the mall. I ran out of the face wash and went to buy another one while I was getting ready to pay. The cashier was just waiting at me and looking at me because I was setting up my phone to record using Apple Pay. But Apple Pay is really convenient because I carry a small bag with me and it's easy just to pay straight from my Apple Watch. It's about 5 p.m. now and I wanted to do another battery check-in. So right now it is at 68%. Also, I've been trying this water tracking app on my Apple Watch. I like it better on my Apple Watch than my iPhone because on the iPhone, there's like bombarded with ads. So it's a lot easier to use it on my Apple Watch. And so far, it's been interesting to see how much water I drink a day. I'm not good with it all the time, but here and there, I get reminders of when I should drink water. And it's actually really useful when I'm editing because sometimes I'm such in the zone and I forget to drink water. And by the end of my editing session, I'm so thirsty for waters there you go all right cool so yeah you can also add other drinks as well such as coffee tea milk orange juice soda wine if you want yogurt and other drinks I think you have to pay for the other drinks because they do have a service for that but I'm only using it to keep track of my water intake and coffee as well back to editing and putting my phone across the room and having my devices on sleep mode I'm currently editing the content creators journal vlog which is already up if y'all are interested On our way to sushi, I got a water reminder, but on the way back, there was a super moon and it was huge. I tried to get good footage, but I really couldn't. However, here's a photo of what the super moon looked like. I just got back from my sushi dinner. Unfortunately, I don't have any footage because I was just so hungry and we all were. So we just went in and ate food, so I don't have footage. But during my dinner, I wasn't really using my Apple Watch. I would just have some notifications come in from time to time, but that's mostly it. And I added how much water I drink to my water app. But before I finish the video, I do wanna do another battery check-in. All right, so it's currently 10.41 p.m and my battery is at 47%. So overall, the entire day, my Apple Watch would only use 50% of the battery. That was my day in the life video with my Apple Watch Series 7. I hope you enjoyed it and it helped you out. If you haven't already, definitely slap that like button for me. I would totally appreciate it. And if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, definitely consider it because I make a lot of tech and lifestyle content. However, that is it for me and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.